is it wrong to say no? I was at um, Walmart tonight buying some coffee, you know. So I went to pick up the coffee and this old man comes up to me and he says, excuse me, sir, um, can you spare $2 for gas? Well, I just said to him, I'm buying coffee. Uh, no. And he walked away, you know. You know, mumbly. And is it wrong to say no to someone who comes up to you in a supermarket and does the cold sell and hits you for gas money? Um, could have the bloke been stranded? I don't know. Um, is it my worry that um, someone comes up to me and asks me for money? Well, I guess they're probably checking what I might have in my pocket if I dig deep and pull something out. Um, my wife wasn't hit up for any money. I'm wondering whether whether I was a random target or whether I'd al I'd already been targeted as I walked in because I was, you know, wearing my, you know, fantastic shorts and you know and my great fantastic T-shirt looking really daggy as I went in there. Um, but yeah, I, I I think that sometimes it's better to say no. Um, I had one time, and this is going back, you know, probably four years ago, I went to a Walgreens supermarket, and I just came back from somewhere with my wife, and I think I dropped her off at some, or whatever, whatever it was, and this bloke comes up, he says, excuse me, sir, he said, you know, he was chewing his chewing gum, and he's in, you know, a nice set of clothes, but he said, you know, I was in this motel, and I got, um, whatever booted out and this old bloke's you know picked me up and uh, I got no money to get back to Montgomery you know I do work um, la da da this is my business card and all that you know la da da and I thought well you know it sounds like he's a genuine bloke and he's really stuck and I thought well shit you know I asked him well if you're stuck you know do you want me to um, take you back to where your car is and get you your fuel. We said, oh, no, no. He said, the bloke is around the corner. He's pretty poor, you know. This old black bloke, he needs, you know, he's going to drop me back to my car. So I gave him, you know, silly me, dipped into my pocket. I'd, I'd been pretty rich from going off to um, the gambling. And I thought, well, I said, look, I'll help you out. But I said, pay me back. And I said, here's my card, you know, so I gave him my card, my name, I added phone number on there. And I said, when you get to your destination and you get your money where you are, I said, send it back to me and contact me to tell me that you're going to do this. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Free bags full, sir. And I felt really um, stupid, but at the same time, I thought, well, I won't tell my wife about this. You know, I'm using a call of judgment here. Um... So anyway, I gave him I, I gave him actually forty dollars, a stranger, a complete stranger, so he could buy you know, use in his car and, you know, drive back to Montgomery, which is probably about eighty miles away. Um, or a little bit further, depending on where he was saying Montgomery will pass or whatever. And I was a little bit naive at the distances that I do know now. Some years later, I come back and I told my wife, I think it was last year, so I didn't tell her that I had... And she said, ah, oh, that's a typical scam. They're always doing that at um, Walgreens. Oh, shit. You know, so I felt really bad. The bloke never contacted me back again, never seen him. Probably wouldn't even know him if I tripped on him again. But um, in, in my great little wisdom, I just start saying no now. Um... I was probably a little bit ge more generous then because I'd have just been in America and um, moved here. So I thought, well, yeah, there's a, bl a bloke doing it hard. I'll help him, you know. I, I can sort of pick them. I can, you know, pick the genuine and pick the non-genuine. Well, I think I probably picked the non-genuine and I got sucked in. Um, how do you get sucked in? Well... I guess sometimes, you know, you go, well, what if it was true? But, you know, that's all, all I can say about it. What if it was true? I guess I'd better 
not keep picking on things, but, um, you know, I had the other night, I went to the kangaroo service station up here, and I walked in to get some gas for, and I'm just telling you some stories, I walked in to get some gas, and there was a bloke standing over near the coffee place, and the woman there, I said, can I get um, something like $19 a gas, or something like, whatever it was I had on me, and you know, for some unknown reason, you get this, excuse me, sir, excuse me, sir, you know, you try to ignore it, because um, we live in um, a predominantly darker neighborhood, and this has happened a lot of times, you go to the service stations and all that, excuse me, sir, yeah, and I said, yeah, okay, yeah, well, what would you like, mate, and he says, you know, can you spare me some money for, so I can get a, 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 spare me some money so I can get a ride home, and I thought, well, nah, I don't have any money to spare, this is what I got for me gas, and then the, the lady in the in the um, service station said, see, I told you you wouldn't get any from him, ah, shit, so I don't know if she was in on it, or bloody, whatever was going on, and then when I hopped out and filled up my tank um, with gas, fuel, you know, he walked out with his big bags full of look like shopping or something that he had done and you know waved a goodbye and he went on his way so I'm not you know and this has happened this happens a lot you know a lot of people asking for gas all the time around the service stations or I'm a drunk I'm homeless I need something to eat you know can you spare some money you know and sometimes you know you oh shit here we go and I and I, I've been a little bit you know tender and I thought well you know he's probably homeless and all that so you know you, you spare him 50 cents not always or a dollar or you know I guess I've been a bit generous but um, other times I've just had to say no you know and I, I probably I've probably said no to the wrong people um, and yes to the right you know the oh hang on no to the right people and yes to the wrong people um, but I, I do know what it's like to do it tough and, you know, have no one sort of care about you. There's, that's one thing that I do understand that. But sometimes, you know, a person who says, can I have $2 to buy gas? My car's parked up the road and they've got no gas can on them. Well, how the hell are you going to get your gas from A to B? Or my mum's waiting in the car and, you know, we've run out of gas. Can you spare $5? Well, you know... That's cold sales. Um, and then sometimes people get really angry with you when you say, no, I've only got this for myself. You know, they, they expect that, you know, you're going to listen to that story and get right involved in it. Um, you know, it, it happens a lot. Sometimes we've gone to Walgreens and we avoid going to Walgreens up here because... Sometimes there's been, you know, a, a bloke out there with dirty darn feet smelling like, you know, Chewbacca and he's just going around asking people for money. But, you know, he's, he's, he's got smokes hanging out of his mouth. Um, and I think, well, are, are we supposed to supply them? Then he, he comes up sometimes and he wants money for a pair of shoes or, um, oh, geez, you know what I mean. Some people would understand what I'm saying, you know. And you, you probably think that, you know, you've got to be Christian-like and look after them like God would. Sometimes I think Christian-like is sometimes look after them like Satan and just go, no, I don't believe you. Mm. But um, anyway, I, I, as I said, I just went into the supermarket to get some coffee tonight. And a bloke came in and I was in the supermarket and he's hitting me up. Another time I'll just cut it really sh short... Uh, we were in the supermarket one time at Walmart. Bloke comes up. He says, look, mate. He said, I've got this card here. Um, you buy anything you want. I'll pay for it. And you give me half the cash. Hmm. And when he said, no. Jeez, he just kept going. He said, you know, I'll, 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 I'll pay for the whole lot with this card. And you give me half the cash of what you want. Ah, oh, jeez. Hmm. Here we go, stolen credit card. 